Hi, I'm Christina Holcroft, and these are three key findings from the 2013 Fire Loss Report. First, structure fires are still a problem, and these are the most costly in terms of life lost, injuries, and property loss. When you look at the graph of the numbers of fires for each year, we see that the trend for structure fires over the past 15 years is not the same as the decline in the number of vehicle and outside fires. Looking at vehicle fires, we see that the numbers are dramatically declining, and we would attribute this to improved vehicle quality. The decrease in outside fires is more difficult to interpret. These include outside storage, garbage, brush, grass, and some wildland fires. We know that more cities and towns are restricting open burning, but keep in mind that we don't collect data on wildland fires that are reported to state and federal agencies, and the number of wildland fires has not been decreasing. And in comparison, there has been a slow decline in the number of structure fires over the past 15 years. And these are the fires that cause most deaths, injuries, and property loss. The second key finding is that fires are still fatal. 85% of all fire deaths occur in home fires. On the graph of fatalities, you will see that the trend for the death rate per thousand reported home fires has not really changed since 1977. Over time, we have decreased the number of home fires, but when there is a fire, people are still just as likely to die. The leading causes of fire deaths are still smoking materials, heating equipment, and cooking equipment. Three out of five home fire deaths occur in homes without smoke alarms or without working smoke alarms. So we recommend installing multiple smoke alarms according to the NFPA fact sheets and testing them at least once a month. Home fire sprinklers definitely save lives and decrease the death rate by about 80%. NFPA also has more safety tips about sprinkler systems. The third key finding I want to highlight is that the fire death rate per million population is actually highest in rural communities of less than 2,500 people. The rural south had the highest death rate of all. The full report available online has additional information about fires by region and community size, as well as fire department responses to all types of calls, not just fires. This information can help in comparing your local fire department to others in your region or who serve the same community size. NFPA would like to thank all the fire departments who completed these surveys and participate in the National Fire Incident Reporting System. Without them, we would not know the size of the fire problem, how these fires occur, or where we need to focus our efforts. I'm Christina Holcroft, and those were three key findings from the 2013 Fire Loss Report. To view the full report, head to nfpa.org slash fireloss.